Virtue of Fighter 2. Can I get back to the just splash screen? Apparently not. This is Virtue of Fighter 2 on PS3. Uh, and I'm going to be trying to not get beat up too bad, but I will probably get beat up bad because this game is super hard. Um, I have it on the easy... No, wait, that's volume. Forget that. Where is... What? Uh, we don't do... Ah. Settings? No, where was it? What did... What? What? Oh, okay. So it just comes up when you go into arcade mode. So I have it on the easiest possible difficulty level. <sighs> it's still super hard. Now, up until now, I had only been playing as, uh, as Jackie. And that's because of a certain stage you otherwise have to go through, and that is Sarah Bryant's stage. Five, so let's one, pick Sarah. Three. Oh, dang it, I couldn't juggle that. Come on. Oh, oh. You can do like forward punch, forward kick. Ah, I can't juggle though. Ugh, ugh. That's about the only useful move I know so far, it seems like, with Sarah. Super awkward top. Oh. Oh dear. Well, that's pretty useful. That's punch, 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 back kick. Better run home to mama now. Yeah, better run. So this is the stage that I didn't want to play before. And uh, the reason I could play Jackie is because when Jackie and Sarah meet, They fight in a different stage. They fight in a quote-unquote Chicago stage. I don't know if that's what it's officially called. That's what I've seen it described as. It's this urban stage, and there's, like, sirens in the background, and some kind of overhead train track and all kinds of stuff. Graffiti on the walls. And, uh, yeah, that was weird. But when anybody else faces Sarah, like even when Sarah faces Sarah, you have to fight her in that lightning flashy stadium there. Now, if I get all the way to Jackie, uh, we'll see the Chicago stage instead of his stage. That was sweet. Yeah. Whose mama is she referring to exactly? I don't know if Shun's mama is still alive, but I guess you never know. Uh oh. Dang it. Is he drinking this one or. He doesn't have a drink meter, so maybe he doesn't. Okay, I'm doing way better than I did in my... Oh, here, here's the test, though. Oh. Uh, I love how her little thingy pops off, whatever the heck that is. I guess it's a hairband. Oh. Dang it. Ooh. This game is pretty, pretty awkward. Oh, she's doing the move I want to do. Why do all girls have the same move? Oh, I'm dead. Ugh. 
just kick plus guard. You can actually pull up a move list. You have to hit the... Uh, what the heck button is that? The share button on my PS4 stick? Uh, I don't know. It's weird. Uh, the annoying thing about this command list is every time you bring it up, it resets to the top, and it's a super long list. So uh, it's easy to lose your place. And... Uh, <laughs> like this is pretty ridiculous. Like it's just you hit kick when you're standing up and it'll kick. I mean, come on. Did we really need all that? Uh been a little iffy with her throws. This double joint butt move is actually pretty useful. Forward punch, forward kick. Oh down oh down kick kick. Yeah, spinning kick is a handy one. Oh, so who the heck knows? Her forward forward kick is this big float. Ah, oh, it didn't float that time. Uh oh. Ah, I keep trying to do her punches, but her punches kind of blow. Ah, uh, the reason is if you do the punches, then you can backflip with this really cool flip kick, but I can't even get her punches off. That's the awkwardness about this game. You can't do you can't do moves. You, you, you can't just push the buttons and think you can execute the move. Now I am. Oh, but no, see, she just completely knocked me out of whatever I was trying to do. Oh, and then ate me up. Oh, jeez. And everything's got this weird rubbery... Ugh. Stuff just stops in place. It's so Oh, is that down forward kick, maybe? Got all up in her face. Oh, the punches suck. I gotta stop trying to punches. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just, yeah, I'll just do that. how I just can't execute three punches. It just won't come out. Oh, no. So, so awkward. Uh, this game, man. I'm just fighting the controls right now. There's some weird animations. Oh. Oh wow, that did a lot of dick glitch. That was one way I was kind of getting through some stuff with Jackie, is his throw seemed to be ridiculous sometimes, but the problem with throws, you run into the same problem you run with ugh, lots of other moves, is that you can't... Uh, sometimes you just can't move forward. And if you can't move forward with your throw, then you can't reach them, and you're dead. Forward, but, uh, oh no. Oh, 
Oh shit, yeah, sure. Yeah, do it all. Oh good. She can just do that whenever she wants. Yeah, just just uh, just magically block it all of a sudden. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh no! Look at all the damage that did. It's so ridiculous. Crouch punch! Come on, you can't beat that. Oh. So, uh, when the AI decides it doesn't want to get hit anymore, it doesn't get hit anymore. That was interesting. Oh! That was cool. Oh, there goes 60% of my health. Continue quickly. Ow! You'd have to continue a lot. Ow! It's the easiest difficulty. I can't be that bad. I'm not that bad at other virtual fighters. Ugh! Officer. Oh, that's not a move. Oh, that's a move that just eats everything, apparently. <laughs> just teleports. Surprising she doesn't. <laughs> so clunky. Jeez. Oh, wow. That's just down guard, down forward guard kick, I guess. Good guys blow it. <laughs> well, I guess she blew it. Hey, lion. I love his life preserver in this one, though. Ah, oh, shoot. Actually. I was going to say, he doesn't have the annoying voice, but he does have a kind of annoying voice. And what's worse is what he says. Oh, okay. He's just a thoroughly despicable human being in this. Shut up, you dork. What? I thought I was supposed to have a cool move on back punch. Oh, back kick. Uh, that's a weird kick. I don't know about that kick. I can't do forward punch, forward kick now. Oh, well. Oh, wow. Yeah, just take it all right in the face. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't say the greatest things either. Uh-oh. Oh, 
man, he's just taking that whole... Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, just get it all in there. Oh, shoot. Oh, thank goodness. In all likelihood, I, I will have to give up sometime before I beat the last character because uh, this game gets ridiculous. What was that? He just teleported under my leg. Whoa! Now, I don't really know how to fight Jeffrey because I only ever played Jackie before, and with Jackie, Jackie could just, just spam punch at Jeffrey, and Jeffrey could not stop it. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe Sarah can do it too. Hang on. There! That's it! I can't stop it! <laughs> Oh no, he stopped it. That's gonna hurt a lot. Wow. Well, yeah, there goes my health advantage. Ow. Uh, Come on, Jeffrey, I'm trying to beat you cheaply. And your weird inability to stop the entire punch flurry. You just can't stop that last hit. Same thing when I fought him with Jackie. <laughs> It's so weird. This game is so bizarre. Whoop. Oh, I tried to mix it up, and that was a huge mistake. There goes my health. That's right. Okay, good. So you can't block punch. Oh, I don't know if I ever fight him with somebody who's... Okay, this is where I give up. That's right. For one thing, I can't take that cricket noise. Uh, and for another thing, I just don't, I just don't understand what Kage does. He just murders me. That's what he does. Uh, <laughs> I do love how his little headband thing pops off. That's pretty enjoyable. Okay, that was good. Oh, come on. Oh, good. Okay, please, please beat him. Please beat him, me. Oh, no, I didn't do it. Oh, gosh. Wow. When I... The last time I got past him as Jackie, it took me like an hour. It took me like a solid hour of that stupid cricket chirping at me. So here's the Chicago stage. This, this would normally be Jackie's weird mountainy hilltop stage with like trees and rocks and weird, weird orange rocks, I think, and little pine trees. But uh, instead, because it's the Bryants facing off, we're in Chicago. And when he fights her in her stage, instead of it being her stage, which is that weird sort of Roman stadium thing, uh, it's in Chicago. Or I guess this is called Chicago. I don't know. It doesn't say it anywhere, but that's what I've seen, like, in a fact, or I don't know where that was. So, can I beat my brother in the mean streets here? Dong. Ugh. Ugh. God, what did he do? He just like teleported between my little kicks. I love the Virtua Fighter 2 poster on the wall. Posters. Oh, I screwed that away. Ugh. So, how. Mm. No. That's not it. Can I do that backflip at will or do I have to. Okay, that worked well. Uh oh. Oh yeah, his throw is pretty good. Oh, I shouldn't have tried to throw. Throwing is so awkward. I swear the AI in this game just well, just decides when it wants to get hit and when it wants to hit you, and then it just does it. See, he just teleported under my leg. Uh. Oh, he did it again. What? Uh. Oh. Didn't 
load him up at all. He just. Uh, Good scream. Good <laughs> scream. Oh no. Oh, uh, every time I go to punches, it's it's so awkward and I die. That that doesn't seem to be impressive. It's not round kick. It's got to be dragon. No. Sway smash. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Double kick. Oh, yeah, I did that one. That one's kind of awkward. Spin, turn, kick. Those charge down moves. I haven't really tried those. Uh, that's a handy one. I forgot about that one. Hmm. Down kick and down kick kick. So, somersault kick is... I just can't seem to do that, I guess. This down kick business. Uh, oh, that that was it, I guess. How she did that weird step forward. But see, the AI just knows. I mean, even in later Virtua Fighters like Five, which I've been playing a lot, the AI will just blatantly just read your inputs and respond with the perfect counterattack before you even start to do your move. So yeah, that is. That's really cool, actually. Over the top techno blast. Yeah, that's what that's what the kids are into. Oh no! Oh god! Spacing and the timing of moves is so weird. Like how he keeps teleporting under my kick. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, I did it. Okay, I gotta get better at that. I, I suck at that even in Virtua Fighter 5. Oh no! Oh, I meant to do the E and I. Just froze. Everything is very sticky. Ugh. You know, like kind of stick against other characters, and then you can't move. Oh no, I can't do it. Gotta figure out how to stop him from. Bring me with this. Ugh. Ugh. More hit. Oh, back kick is not great. That that sucked. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Brother, I just want to hug. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's nice to see the other side of the stage for once. Wow. Shoot. I'm screaming. Ah. Uh, just as I release. Guard to kick. He gets it. Why? 
See, there I tried to do forward, forward, kick, but he moved forward, and so, like, I stuck against him, and my forward, forward E did not come out. But... the down kick, but I, that was accidental. Oh, God, there goes health. Teleported back into throw range. Ow! Wow. It's so awkward because the opponent, by their presence, where they're standing can put you into a state where you can't do the move that you thought you were inputting. Duck. So he, keeps, he basically keeps locking me down. And then I get... Then the move I want doesn't come out and then he just does whatever. Oh, this game... Shoulder cramps because I'm just so anxious and annoyed. Uh, oh, that was neat. Uh, why didn't I do my up follow up? So I can't throw him there because I can't move forward because he bonks into me. Ugh. Like you have to, you have to time your move forward and hope. He doesn't jerk forward at the same... Oh, girl. There we go. So, it's it's really hard to get away from those downed attacks like that. Uh, so, it, it's actually very much worthwhile to do them if you can get it in. Yeah, because the opponent really doesn't have an option to take you out like they do in other in later Virtua Fighter games. Go. Every time I go for down forward kick, he's just gonna block me. Or throw me. Well, he blocked him through me to give him credit. Okay, I gotta stop going for down forward kick. It's not working. Like it. It's down kick. Oh no, that was. I'm trying to grab. Basically, just looking for the cheap move that he won't just like auto block. I shouldn't say auto block. It's an auto block. It's just ah, it's so awkward to try any kind of interaction with his space. Uh. And like the AI knows where they can move, but I can't really tell where I can and can't move suddenly, in which moves won't come out anymore. Ugh. Well, I did... So, uh, I was totally wrong about the other Dreamcast Capcom fighting game coming today. It actually just shipped in Japan today, so, uh, that was the deal there. So that's gonna be a while, but... Uh... Virtua Fighter 3 for Dreamcast is supposed to be here Monday. Oh, dang it. Uh, 
<laughs> so I thought I would get in some Virtual Fighter 2 before then, but man, this game is... This game is just pure pain. Uh, it just doesn't... It doesn't respond right. Oh. Oh, the way the opponent's physical space closes down your moves is ridiculous. You should never have been done. Do down kick. There we go. But you just get stuck in this kind of state where you, the move won't come out and you have to reset yourself. You have to move somewhere else and become unstuck. So he just sort of stuck in under my leg. Ugh. Oh no. throw and it was stupid. That's that's what happens when I try to do that up back kick. It's so Ugh. the timing is actually super narrow. That? How did I? Uh, it's one of those rising attacks that I. Oh no! Yeah, he's just gonna teleport under my leg every time I do that. So I don't know. I have not taught myself not to do that because it's uh, it's kind of my go-to move in five, I guess. What's he doing with his hand? Uh, oh, uh, there goes 60, 70 percent of my health. Dead. Just enough damage to knock me out. Now why didn't I do a follow-up here? Ow. Like that. my uh, little bedtime alarm. 
But forget it, I'm playing Virtua Fighter. Uh, where was I? Getting mauled by my brother. Ow. Ooh. Okay. It's up. Good. That's the other thing, like... Kind of, the AI will just stop letting you hit it with a move after probably at most two successes. Oh, oh I'm scared. Oh. Done a back. Oh, it doesn't matter. I never do the move I want. It's the basic problem in this game. Uh, just the inputs just. Uh, I don't count on a move actually coming out. Oh no. Ah. So I just end up thrashing around because I don't know what's going to work. Ah. <laughs> okay, that was locked. Just not, obviously. Ugh. Dodged it. Uh, it's also really slow. Oh, there goes 50% of my health from that kick. kick that takes off half of my health. I can't do that move. Yeah, I can't do it when he's in my place. Uh, if I do, it doesn't matter. Because he knows it's coming. <laughs> like, that is an example of the AI reading the input, because it that backflip actually takes a second to start up, and so he knows that it's coming. And just moves back or blocks or does whatever. Down forward. Uh, oh, I can't do anything. Okay, nothing can hit him. Uh, is that Sonic? Graffiti? Ow. Okay, I'm gonna have to give up. Play some other character. I can't take much more of these sirens, and Jackie just. Going ham on me, whatever he feels it. Uh, like, how, how does he teleport through my leg and then do that? How is that possible? How is that input possible? Because my inputs do not teleport through his leg. 
So it's kind of like you have to, for this AI, against this AI, you have to have a certain variety of moves in mind, and you can't go back to a move more than once. Because uh, it just won't work. It just stops working. I mean, it'll come out, but they'll block it. Ah, uh, 50% of my health. So, like, that guard kick works there. Oh, it worked again. But... Third time, no. Those are bizarre. So I was actually dashing towards him, and he just grabbed me. That's the second time in a row he's done that in, that in response to that move. Didn't even bother getting out of the way. Ugh. So he just jabs me as soon as I go in for a throw. Yeah, it's just jab. going for throws and it not working at all. Oh. I have so little success with her jab. That's actually a huge, huge problem. Her punch is just not, not effective. It's my move variety, which is a problem because the AI does not let you get away with the same attack. Wow. Shoot. Yeah, here's where it falls apart. Yep. Yep. Don't get a health lead. attack with each successful attack, then I would have enough damage uh, to kill him without running out of whatever variety is required. Oh. Nothing. 
nothing was coming together. I couldn't. When I knocked him down, I couldn't follow it up. Don't, don't try to throw him. Why would you do that? I was trying to do a down kick. He just read the button press and then jabbed me as soon as as soon as I had hit my button. Because his jab is faster than my kick. That's what he's gonna do. Oh. Yeah, so there I hit spin kick, but yeah, he's just gonna kick me with his short little quick kick every time as soon as I hit those buttons. Remember that time, I don't know why. I could have floated him once, I maybe could have knocked him out of the ring. Oh, yeah, that. A jab and then that kick was 75% health. Side steps in this game. That doesn't happen until three. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna get three. Three has a separate. They added a fourth button just for the new evade move they put in. Three. It's not my favorite idea. teleports through my leg like that, but he does it consistently. try jabbing him, but it just doesn't... Oh. <laughs> Jab! No, it just... Oh, what is he doing? It's just great. Well, I jab him once, just waiting between raindrops. Uh, 
can't take this anymore. Ugh. Can't execute even basic things right now. My feelings are hurt. Can't throw. Uh, can't throw Garrett because his body's bounding box moved into mine. And then you're just hosed. kind of got inside his his movement box and he couldn't do anything all of a sudden. I guess the real key to playing this game would be to know how to disrupt your opponent's movement. Once I hit him three times in a row with that weird low gravity jump attack, but I can't do the back one either. Uh, the back actual correct. Just kidding. I'm dead. Ooh. won't come out when I need it. There it is. This is wrong. get that one move. There we go, but mine doesn't do 50% of his health. Uh, yeah. 
Also, he can block it super easily. Oh no, I'm dead. I gotta follow that up. Uh, can't see the camera. I can't see around his body with that camera. Uh, no, that was supposed to be down kick, not down forward kick. Twice. Oh, and then I was remarking upon it instead of counterattacking, and now I'm dead. Or not counterattacking, but follow up attacking. Ah, can't throw once he's bodied into me. Why would I try? Why would I try? Uh. Repeated a move, deadly. As Jackie, I just punch spam Wolf as well, or something. Something really cheap. It was harder than against Jeffrey. Ow. Oh, he's gonna teleport through my leg, too. See? Well, he tried it, but then he backed up. Ow. Wow, Wolf is really freaky looking in this game. Okay, I think I might have seen it there. Mess around with some other stuff first. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. As soon as I hit this spin kick, it's just a counter move. Uh, oh, you might think I hate this game. I sort of do, actually. Uh oh. And there. I can swear it's not letting me do the forward punch forward kick if the punch hmm. oh that's gonna kill me <laughs> uh, he just got tired of me being alive oh that's gonna hurt too that's so bad Yeah, I do 
do it. It's going to throw me if I keep doing that. Wow, that is like 70% damage. But I think I probably could have just punched spam and like Jeffrey. Kind of looked like he wasn't going to block the last punch. Well, here's the here's the boss. Akira is actually the boss. And uh, what the? Did you see the damage on that? Uh, so that was like one knee did 75%. That's a cute little dance. Oh, do it. I repeated a move. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh yeah, that's gonna that's gonna smart. Fight one, ready, go! <laughs> oh no! Uh, actually, I'm amazed you didn't juggle me. I didn't have enough ideas. Oh, that damage. <laughs> Gosh. Seems good. Uh, why did I go for a throw? Why did you go for a throw? Ow! Still trying throws. Nope, yeah, just tech it. Once I can finally move into a throw, just tech it. Ugh! Just landing on the ground hurts you that much? Who knows? Bonk. Fight one. Ready, go. I'm so amazed I didn't do anything. That's forward punch, forward kick, and then actually following up the hits. Oh, he's just gonna jab me out of it, and then now I'm side switched. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, just. Uh, uh. Oh no. Oh no. That was my mistake. 
mistake. Oh, he's avoiding down attacks now. Oh, I screwed up my down attack. That could have won it. Well, I blew it. Oh, wow. That was just messing with me. Just dancing around my body. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay. This was just right in the ground. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, I actually got a string of four hits, not a combo, but... Hooray! This is terrible. Oh no, I'm dead. Wow. I don't think I've ever even taken a round off Garal in this game before. Wow. Counter. Ugh. Oh, why try to throw? That's just asking for death. Oh, she actually didn't juggle me. <gasps> What's she doing? Continues, which is good. So let's see, is this. This is actually how I took out the opponents. I remember looking that cool doing it. Yeah, that was it, because I just punch spammed him. Attractive action club. Well, so an hour of non-stop complaining got me to, oh, I hate how, I don't, I forget how to do this, it's so weird. Wait, how do I, how do I target? Uh, I forgot how to do it. I don't want A, I want B. I 
or not thinking of this correctly. <laughs> oh, it gave me the name Game VF2. Over. Well, I beat my old Jackie score. Not that I'll know now because I couldn't save, but I couldn't get my initials in. I forget, I forget how the initial thing worked. I had to look it up before. It's so confusing looking at it. It's like you actually shouldn't look at it because it's actually perfectly normal as long as you aren't looking at it because it makes you think you have to do something totally different. I totally forget how that works. Well, I kind of want to play more characters, but I really, I really don't want to get obsessed with trying to get through it with another character tonight, so I think I'm just going to just gonna stop there for now. Uh, oh man, this game. This game is just so... It's just like masochistic. I mean, I can see how you could just be completely brutal at it once you learned how all the weird interactions happen and how you know, your body being close to the opponent's body shuts down their move and how... Well, but I, I think I'm, I'm sort of uh, confusing the situation because really a lot of it is also just the AI uh, will just just read your input and just counterattack with a faster attack before you even start your move. Before your move actually starts coming out, I mean. The AI still does that in, in the later games. It's just uh, a little more subtle about it. A little. Um, and then also, in the later games, you're, if you hit the buttons, then the attack will come out, generally speaking. Whereas in this game, yeah, yeah, if, you're, if your body's collision box is conked into the collision box of the opponent, it might, might not work. Ouch, that did look painful. So yeah, Virtua Fighter, well, so let's see. Virtua Fighter 3 for Dreamcast, the Japanese version, the inferior Japanese version, is coming on Monday, supposedly, uh, with its fourth button for evasions. Um, I'm kind of excited about that, I guess, with uh, a little skepticism, because I know I, I didn't take a shine to it back in the day, and I pretty much immediately abandoned it. <laughs> I played it for probably like 10 minutes, and I was just like, oh. Um, and this weekend, this being Friday, of course, uh, I want to get in at least one good uh, Virtua Fighter 4 quest mode session, because I've never really done a... Uh, much of quest mode, I mean, more than, like, five minutes in Evolution, Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution. So that could be interesting, and uh, we'll see how addictive that is, if it's addictive like Kumite uh, in 4 and quest mode in 5. Although, I should say, Kumite in 4 is, in a way, not as addictive as it could be, because it's just so brutal. The, the ranking up system gets so brutal, and I... I think 4 Evolution still has a similar type of ranking up system, probably, where once you hit a certain rank in 4, it's first stand, then uh, you no longer just get a little bit of rank for every time you win a match. Um, in 4, once you hit first stand, you can only advance in rank by beating a fir another first stand opponent. And uh, it doesn't matter if you beat like a 10th Dan, doesn't matter. That won't help you at all. You have to beat a 1st Dan. So when a 1st Dan finally comes along, I get all nervous and then freak out. And uh, and you have to beat 5 1st Dan's. This is just to go from 1st Dan to 2nd Dan. You have to beat 5 1st Dan's. Uh, if you lose to a 1st Dan in that span, then that sets you back one. So say I... I uh, 
if I, I beat three first stands, then normally I would just have to beat two more to guess to get to the ranking match, I think. But if I beat three first stands, then lose to a first stand, then I have to beat three more just to get to that ranking match. And uh, uh, so, and it doesn't, you can't see that number anywhere. Uh, so it, man, that, that mode, Kumite just messes with my head in four, and I, the first time around, I didn't even play it that much. I just let the AI play it. I would just make an AI and put them in Kumite and watch them take the abuse and the, the uh, just the mental strain and anguish. Um, but I'm trying it now with Shundi, and man, I've been stuck at first hand for a while. I was sworn I should have got back to a rank match again last time I played, but I don't know. Oh, man. So by by contrast, quest mode in five is a is a, it's a just a nice chill walk in the park most of the time. You just you just go to the arcades and fight people when you want. And you get a little rank if you win, and you might lose a tiny smidge if you lose, but not much. Like in 4, you, uh, in Kumite, you are actually constantly in danger of being demoted if you're at first stand or above. And I really let that worry me, and I shouldn't, because who the heck cares if you get demoted? It's actually easy to rank up from, what's the rank below first stand? First Q. That's easy. But uh, anyway, um, so I, I'm not sure how quest mode in the game between those two for evolution stacks up. Uh, I think I did see the, in the five minutes I played it that matches in, in that game are fixed at uh, first to two, first to two rounds wins, whereas in five and four, it's first to three, and that really gives you a lot more time to adjust to what your opponent might be doing. Uh, so I'm a little worried about the, the two round thing. I'm not really taking a shine to that, but we'll see. Uh, and I suppose what I would really like would be a version of four that has a less brutal ranking up system. <laughs> that would be nice. But also, I shouldn't, like, I, I have a I have a, a fondness for 4 just because it came out at the right time for me, and I really loved the AI mode, and uh, the Kumite mode was, was a new kind of a revelation. Um, I mean, I, it scared me off eventually, but it was still pretty cool for, for a fighting game to have this single-player continuous fighting mode. Uh, I wish more still had that today. Um, was, I, was I saying something about evolution? I totally lost my train of thought there about four now. I don't know. So I, I hope I can find... Oh, well, I know. Yeah, I was, I was talking about four, actually, because... When I was, I've been trying to dig back into four here after years and years away. I never got any good with it in the past, so I've been trying to actually learn it a little. But just found that so many of the characters uh, are. Oh, I'm not very good. So so many of the characters. Well, some of the characters are just way too hard for me to play. Like Akira, I can't do that. But I can't really play Akira in any Virtue Fighter. Uh, but then, like Vanessa, who was my favorite character in four, I had to give up in four because she had her spinning kick, her flying spin kick when you hit guard plus kick. Uh, that is way overpowered. The AI cannot stop that move. It can't duck under it like it can in later games. So once you do a spin kick at it, unless maybe it can jab you out of the air, rarely. But otherwise, it's just going to get, if not hit, then it will have to block and get pushed backwards. Uh, and sometimes staggered. Um, so you can just keep spamming the move at it until it gets hit or like pushed out of the ring or 
uh, you just batter it against the, the side of the cage enough that then you just do something else to it. I don't know. So I had to stop. I, I, I was overpowered. I couldn't play the mess anymore. Uh, what else? Well, I thought I found an exploit with Sean, and I didn't, so I'm still stuck at first band with Sean. But, uh, I tried playing Sarah in 4, and that was really... It felt kind of just stiff and awkward. Uh, same with Jackie. Um, but actually, they both felt kind of stiff and awkward to me, even in 5. So then I was playing them in Final Showdown, but then Final Showdown's AI is kind of broken. Uh, I mean, it just it isn't very good. You can just spam attacks at it in Final Showdown, and it'll just, you know, on the highest difficulty in Special Sparring, mode, it'll just stop. It, it just can't stop the attack spam. Uh, so anyway, that would be interesting if Core Evolution turns out to have a fun quest mode. So I really am digging quest mode in 5, I think. I think I'm still digging it. I've got characters, I've got about 5 characters I'm trying to play all at once. And they're all around 8th or 9th Jan rank right now, which isn't really that high. Um, but I'm still feeling good about most of them. Which is a little more than I can say for the one character I'm still trying to play in Kumite in 4, Shun. It's been stuck at first, Dan. Uh, but I feel like I'm learning a little bit with him bit by bit, but man, that, that mode is so brutal. Well, uh, so yeah, brutal modes. I've heard the AI in 4 Evolutions quest mode is pretty brutal. But I guess I'll find out this weekend. So that's the main thing I want to do. Um, something else I wanted to dig into this weekend. Well, I've got a ton of fighting games sitting around, and I'm sure one of them will shout out to me. Or I'll just play a lot of Evolution Quest mode, but I, I want to get at least something else in there. Some 2D fighting game, probably? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. I'll come up with something else. Uh, so again, thanks for watching this, and, uh, I'm gonna say goodnight now, so, uh, later.